You've got an amazing vacation booked, and for once, you want to try to fly carry-on only and not check any bags. Is that even possible? Absolutely, and I'm going to show you exactly how it's done. My name is Carmen, and together with my husband and two daughters, we've been traveling the world frequently for the last seven years. And many of those trips were done carry-on only. Today, I'm going to show you all of the travel must-haves that make that possible, and they're all available from Amazon. Of course, everything will be linked down below, so let's get into it. So the first hurdle when it comes to not checking any bags is, what do you do about all of your toiletries? Now, obviously, you can decant your products into smaller bottles, and we'll talk about that. But one thing that I think a lot of people don't realize is that a lot of toiletries you can actually get in solid form instead of liquid. And that includes things like shampoo, conditioner, facial cleanser, and even body lotion. This gift set from Ethique is a really great place to start if you want to kind of dabble into the world of solid toiletries. It comes with four of these bars, one is shampoo, one is conditioner, one is facial cleanser, and one is a body butter. So that's basically four products that now you can put into your carry-on luggage and you don't have to worry about that hitting your liquids limit. Now perfume is also something you can get in solid form, which again, I think a lot of people don't realize. Now Amazon has a whole line from Derek Lamb 10 Crosby. This is just one of the many scents that they have. This one is called Rainy Day. And you basically open it, you can see it's like a solid um, stick. And basically you just, you know, apply it by rubbing it on. And now you've got scent on your wrist. Another one of my favorite solid scents from Amazon is this one from Elizabeth and James. And as you can see, it comes in this very luxe velvet little pouch. And um, the packaging is beautiful too. It's like this gold, like kind of little compact white and gold. And this is the Nirvana white scent. Um, I think there's also a black one also called Nirvana, I believe. Um, but this is the white and smells beautiful. And the same thing, you just kind of, you know, rub it onto your wrist and then now you've got perfume ready to go. Now, sunscreen is another thing that you can get in solid form. And this is one of my favorites. This is a sunscreen stick from AHC, which I believe is a Korean skincare brand. Anyway, it's fantastic. It rolls up just like a deodorant. I think this type of sunscreen stick is especially good for reapplication. You know, I'm a little bit lazy to, to get full coverage. I do still like to do the spray um, and I will usually just buy a spray sunscreen when I get to my destination. Um, but to carry throughout the day, it's much less messy. This easily fits into your purse. And I can tell you that last summer we did a almost two week trip through Italy and in Rome especially, it was crazy hot and sunny. And this stick really saved my life. Like I was reapplying like crazy and I didn't get burned once, which was really a miracle. So this stuff really works. I know that the skincare experts are a bit divided over how effective it is to do a stick sunscreen versus a traditional uh, lotion type that you slather on. But in my experience, this really does work. Um, so definitely I always pack at least one or two of these on every trip. By the way, if you enjoy videos like these about Amazon on travel must-haves, make sure that you subscribe. The next one that I'm doing is all about the must-haves for a cruise vacation, so you definitely don't want to miss that. Also, visit our channel to catch up on our recent Amazon travel must-haves videos, including the items that we never travel without, and our favorite products for a beach vacation. Okay, continuing with toiletries. There's one thing that I always seem to forget to pack, and that is makeup wipes or makeup remover. It always seems like a pain to pack that like really big pack of makeup wipes, especially if you know you're only going to be doing this trip for a few days. So I recently found this on Amazon, which is gonna come with me on all future trips. And they are these individually wrapped makeup remover wipes. So now on future trips, I can just pop like a handful of these little guys into my bag and then I'm all set. And also I don't have to worry about like the makeup wipes drying out um, because it's a one big pack that I don't use that often. Now in the same vein, on this last trip that we just did, we just did three weeks in Japan. And for some reason, um, my nail polish, which was like kind of a neutral, like very light sheer pink, um, for some reason, my nail polish decided to just turn yellow halfway through the trip. And I was like, oh man, like, what should I do? Like, I don't really wanna buy like a whole bottle of nail polish remover just to take off this one little bit of nail polish. And then at the same time, I was like, I don't really wanna go and get my nails done either because my nails were fine. It's just the yellow polish that looked weird. So from now on, on any trip, I am gonna bring a couple of these. So these are individually packed uh, Q-Tex 
nail polish remover wipes. So this is really great. Also, you don't have to worry about this like big bottle of like flammable stuff uh, in your luggage. Um, so I'm gonna pack a couple of these so that if I do run into any weird uh, nail polish issues in the future, I can very quickly take care of this without, again, taking up lots of room in my luggage. Okay, so chances are not every single like skincare product or hair product is gonna be something that you can find in a travel size. So in those situations, you always want to be able to decant your products into a smaller bottle. Now, before filming, I just couldn't find where I put my toiletry bottle set, but I am gonna show you this graphic. This is actually the exact set that I use um, to decant all of our products in. I really like that it's silicone and kind of squishy, um, so you can kind of like easily get the extra liquid out from the bottom of the bottle. And because the mouth of the bottle is really wide, it also makes it really easy to clean. So when you're traveling with toiletries and you're flying carry-on only, another challenge is finding the right size bag to fit everything in. Now, if you peruse Amazon, you're gonna see a lot of like toiletry bags that say TSA approved, right? Just because they're clear, it's a clear pouch with a zipper, and a lot of these in the product title will say TSA approved. Now, I am here to tell you that TSA did not approve any of those pouches. In fact, the only guidance that the TSA gives is that your toiletries have to be able to fit into a quart size Ziploc bag. Now, if you actually look at a quart size Ziploc bag, it is way smaller than some of these gigantic clear toiletry cases that you'll find on Amazon that are supposedly TSA approved. So if you wanna play it on the safe side, this is actually the bag that I use. So this is actually part of a three piece set from Bagalini. As you can tell, it's really beat up. <laughs> I've had this literally like like at least five years, I think. So you can see it gets used, but this is the smallest one of the set. Um, there's three sizes. The two larger ones I also really like a lot and I tend to use those more for um, just other items in my book bag, like uh, pens and you know electronic stuff, that kind of thing. So those larger sizes are really useful, though obviously not for toiletries if you're flying carry-on only. But this little bag comes much closer to a quart size than some of those gigantic cosmetics cases you'll find on Amazon. The zipper is also really, really well made. If you actually read the reviews of a lot of those so-called TSA approved cosmetics bags on Amazon, on, you'll find lots of complaints about zippers breaking. This zipper is really high quality. Um, again, I've been using this same bag for like five plus years and it's held up really well. So you wanna play it on the safe side with your toiletry sizes, this is the way to go. But if you wanna play a little more loosey goosey with the rules, I mean, a lot of people don't get caught, so you may as well try. I'll also link to a larger toiletry bag that also has some pretty good reviews. Okay, so obviously when you fly carry-on, a lot of it comes down to having the right suitcase. And the suitcase that I recommend and we always use is this one from Toomey. So this is from the Toomey 19 degree collection. It's the international expandable carry-on case. And what I love about this suitcase is that its dimensions are actually going to allow you to use it as a carry-on on most domestic uh, US airlines, like the regular carriers, not the low cost carriers, and most international airlines as well. Though when you're flying non-US airlines, you do have to be very cautious about weight limits um, because international airlines often put a weight limit on your carry-on luggage and US airlines often do not. Now, Toomey is obviously not a budget option. It is a luxury brand, um, it is priced accordingly, but if you're ready to invest in really high quality luggage for yourself, you cannot go wrong with Toomey. And people often ask me like, can you even tell the difference? Like, what's the difference? Like they're all suitcases with wheels, right? And I can tell you that even our daughters can tell the difference because for the first few years of our travels, they used rolling suitcases from Calpac, which is a pretty solid brand if you're looking for more of a budget option. They also have like really cute designs, but they always pleaded with us to be able to take over our Toomey suitcases because when they would roll ours versus their Calpac ones, they could tell the difference. And so a few years in, Serge and I upgraded to these ones and then we gave our daughters our old Toomey suitcases. So now all four of us travel with Toomey carry-ons and yes, it does make a difference. Like if you've ever <laughs> had to transit in Dubai, like you can be walking for miles and miles and miles between gates. Or if you've ever had to go between terminals at LAX, which that airport is nuts, man. Like just the fact that there's no way to get between terminals without basically going for like a 20 minute hike. When you're in those situations, you will understand that having 
a suitcase that rolls really well and efficiently really does make a huge difference. Now, if you're not quite ready to shell out to me money, I totally get it. There is an alternative suitcase that I will recommend. It's from Amazon Basics. It's the 21 inch hard side spinner. That one seems like a great budget alternative. It's got really good reviews. So that is a great one if you're not quite ready to invest into to me quite yet. Okay, so we've talked about your carry on suitcase, but now let's talk about the personal item that you're gonna bring with you when you fly carry on only. And this is where I see a lot of people go wrong, especially women. Understand that your personal item can be large enough to fit under the seat in front of you. So don't squander that capacity and like make your personal item like some little teeny tiny shoulder bag. You really wanna be able to maximize the use of the space as well. So I know that my fashion girlies out there, you guys probably wanna fly with like a cute tote bag, like a Dior book tote, that kind of thing. And hey, all power to you, that's totally fine. Me, myself, as a very frequent traveler and as a, someone who travels with my kids, I like to be completely hands-free. I don't wanna be like, holding a tote bag on my shoulder, holding it in my hand, balancing it on my suitcase, like I don't want any of that hassle. So I like to travel with a book bag as my personal item. Now, when it comes to book bags, you really cannot go wrong with Patagonia. And this is one of our favorites. This is called the Black Hole Pack. It's the 25 liter one. Um, it comes in two different sizes. This is the smaller one. We also have a larger one. And this will fit just fine under the seat in front of you. As long as you're not flying like a super budget airline, you're gonna be absolutely fine with this bag. It's really sturdily made. There's a laptop sleeve inside the bag. I also like that there is a pocket on the very top of the suitcase, which makes it easy to get access to those things that you need very often, like, you know, passports, chargers, whatever. So that's a really great one. Now, if you are flying a low cost carrier like Spirit, Frontier, Allegiant, and we are actually about to fly our very first flight on a low cost carrier in just a few days, and so in preparation for that, we got some new book bags. So if you're not aware, low cost carriers like Spirit, Frontier, Allegiant have extremely strict restrictions when it comes to the size of your personal item. If you're flying something like American, Delta, United, as long as the bag fits under the seat, like they're not gonna hassle you. And sometimes I've even traveled with a larger bag than the one I showed you and nobody says anything, it's fine. But these low cost carriers are always looking to squeeze you for another couple extra bucks if you've seen any of the drama around the frontier of personal item limitations on TikTok. Look it up on TikTok if you haven't, it's kind of wild. You'll know that they take that very seriously. So in preparation for that, we got these bags from Amazon. So all four of us got one. They're pretty good size, but the dimensions are exactly within the parameters that these carriers will stipulate, which I can't remember off the top of my head, but I'm gonna put it on the screen right here. And this bag has really great reviews. You can see it's very roomy inside. And so we're actually planning to pack a lot of our clothes in here because we only paid for two carry-on suitcases for this trip. It's a short one, so we'll be fine. But there are tons of compartments. There's also a compartment for your laptop and it comes in a lot of really cute colors. This is kind of like a turquoise one. We also got a pink and a purple and a gray. So no matter what your color preferences are, you're probably going to find a color that you like. Hopefully these hold up well for this upcoming trip, um, but I'm really excited about these. I've heard good things about this bag. So if you are flying one of those airlines, this is the bag to get. So whether you're flying carry-on only or not, it's a really good idea to have a set of luggage tags for each one of your bags, your suitcases and your book bags. And especially if you're a family like us and maybe all of you have the same suitcase, the same color, the same model, you wanna be able to easily distinguish whose is whose. And for that, I really like this set of luggage tags. It comes in a set of eight. I think there are smaller sets available as well, but they're all different colors, which makes it really easy to see whose is whose. They're made of this bendy silicone kind of material, which is gonna hold up well to wear and tear. And they come with this pre-printed um, card that you can fill out with your info. Now, quick tip, um, I do not recommend putting your full address on any luggage tag ever. Um, ideally, you just wanna put maybe your phone number and your email address and your full name so that if someone finds your luggage, if it's lost, they can get in touch with you, um, but you don't necessarily wanna like broadcast <laughs> to everybody exactly where you live. So if you're looking for luggage tags, these are great. I'm actually gonna be upgrading all of our family to these. Right now we just have like a random assortment of luggage tags that were picked up as freebies from various <laughs> events and things. So we're gonna get a little bit more uh, consistent and use these moving forward. Another key when it comes to flying carry-on only is making sure that you have a really good packing strategy. And when it comes to packing for carry-on only flights, 
I cannot strongly recommend enough to use packing cubes. For us, this has been a total game changer, and our favorite packing cubes are the Shack Pack packing cubes from Amazon. We've tried a lot of packing cubes over the years. We've tried like expensive ones, cheap ones, like fancy compression ones, waterproof ones, all kinds of packing cubes. And honestly, like we keep coming back to these original packing cubes that we bought when we first started traveling frequently. So they come in a set of four, I believe, of different sizes. It also includes a laundry bag, which I love because you have a dedicated place to put your dirty clothes. And um, we basically have one in each color for each person in our family. This one is the largest size. One thing that I love about these packing cubes is that it has a clamshell opening, meaning that you can open it completely open like this. Um, I don't really love the packing cubes where there's only a zipper on one side and you have to kind of like stuff your clothes in. This I like a lot better because also once you're at your destination, it's very easy to just open everything up and immediately find what you need rather than like sticking your hand in and like rummaging through. So when you're using packing cubes, what you wanna do is actually roll up your clothes into a very compact package and then slip it into the packing cube and kind of keep slipping in more rolled up clothes like that. You're gonna be able to fit way more stuff than if you just fold your stuff directly into the suitcase. And it's really easy to keep all of your clothes organized. And there's a lot of trips we've done where we don't fully unpack because maybe we're hitting multiple destinations on one trip so it doesn't really make sense to like take everything out and then a few days later repack everything and go through that process over and over again and the clamshell opening on these just makes it so easy to again take out exactly what you need and then roll it back in before you go to your next stop so as a frequent traveler I can tell you that packing the right products for your trip can make a huge difference and I recently found some amazing products for tropical trips so check out this video where I tell you what they are and explain how they're gonna make your next beach vacation that much easier.